Warning, swallowing video includes cheating. So, if you don't want to cheat, stop watching the video right now. Hey guys, Ryan here. So, so guys, you know I'm the if you haven't yet. Um, just tell you that at the beginning of the video. Anyway, so, um, a lot of people on the uh, internet ask how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And probably hundreds of people might even, been solving, might even be solving one right now as you're watching. And a lot of people would just keep doing like this, 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 this. They even get one, but then they just can't get a second one, usually. Well, guess what? I'm here to solve that problem with a cheap way of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is break a pocket Rubik's Cube, like this. Now, you want to be sure you do it on a table, otherwise you're going to lose all your pieces. Um... Ah, God. Sorry, um, the cam the camera tripod is not that steady. Um, yeah. You just gotta break apart everything. Except except for the ones, like, in the middle. Those ones you could leave open. Okay? Sometimes they'll just fall by themselves because they're not that steady, but most of the time you gotta break them apart. Oh god, I just dropped one off the table. Okay. So yeah, after when you're done, um, you just wanna leave these stuff still on there, since I'm pretty sure these are impossible to pull off. Yeah. So what you wanna start is, um, well, you know, I'm just going to start by fixing the white one, okay? So here's a white piece, and here's a green, and here's a green piece on it. Where this actually fits, because there's actually this part on it, is over here. See, it will actually look perfect when you place them back together. Now, if they're actually not that, um, pretty wobbly, um, you, you just, you're just going to have to deal with it, like, as you're fixing this together. Um, see, like, white, green, since there's green in the middle. So because the middle is impossible to pull off, so... Pretty much, you just gotta stick with it. Now, over here, there's a, um, no, nope, it's not part of it, um, these, all you wanna do is just, like, see all these ones with this edge, and there's one, place them all in one area, um, here's, no, this have white, no, this doesn't have white, this doesn't have white, this doesn't have white, Okay, so it's all fine. Okay, so here's another white one, and then you just want to place that on the other side where the blue is, you see? Because it makes perfect sense because there's a blue at the end. Oh, God. And there's also white there. <clears throat> and then another white one over here because it's so up. I mean, why the heck not? Since there's uh, another one over there. Um, if it's not that steady, um, you just, I guess you just gotta deal with it then, since sometimes these are pretty hard to put back together, and you might even break it, so be aware of that before you start, okay? Mm, I can't find that one with the white one. Where is it? Um... I'll just be looking for the red ones then, oh my god. Well, I'll just find that later then, okay? Um, I guess I'll just finish solving, solving this red one, I guess. There, there's a red- oh, oh, here it is, okay. Um, with the red on it. Okay, so after when you're done solving, probably maybe a plus, but find this a bit wobbly. So what you want to do next is, here's a, a bit, here's a bit tricky. Um, oh yeah, um, by the way, before you continue doing this, um, 
if you're actually following about them doing this, you want to, and you're put, and you're trying to put all these in, please realize that you don't want to put all. You just want to leave one that is not put, placed in, okay? So, yeah, okay. And I'll tell you why later. But for now, let's just focus on what we're doing. Sometimes it might be simply um, too hard to be putting putting this on. But nothing to matter because that's what that's how hard we're putting on Rubik's Cube is. So deal with it. You find it hard to do this? Too bad. It's usually hard. Um, sometimes you might even have to hold them down to be sure they don't fall off. But most of the times you don't need to do it. Um, where's the white one? Yeah, I lost, I think I lost some of them anyways. Um, I think I have to resplit this again. Okay, there it is. Eh. Um, wait, here's the other one. Uh, the one. Okay. Red. Where's the blue one? I just want to solve the end also. Is this one? No, this one at the bottom. Is this one? Yep. Again, some of these might be a little bit wobbly, so until then, you gotta deal with. You just gotta deal with it. So over and over again, you gotta fill in all those, all these dots and squares and stuff. Well, all these squares, not dots. <laughs> Slowly, me. What am I thinking? And so, um, yeah. So usually, what I suspect. What I usually um, recommend doing is um, putting all of all of these because these are the e easiest to do. But remember to leave one still not placed in, okay? One, okay? <laughs> okay. So now we're in that position. You just want to fill in the rest of the squares that are not filled in, like that. Of course, you also need to push a little bit, but yeah, okay. And then is this the correct one? Orange, yellow, green. Yep. Okay, so you get through this part. Okay. Now what? You, now what? Everyone should be now what everyone usually does, but don't do this. Is just place this one in and then place these two in. But that's not what you really want to do. Why? Because if you place this one in, and then you place another one in. Then this. Then this other piece will be a little, really, really tricky to, fill, to place in. So what I usually do is place this one in, like this, at the end. This one in, also. And you know what happens next, guys. 
Sweet. And then you place this last one in. Like that. And then, boom. You finally fixed your first own Rubik's Cube. So yeah, congratulations. Um, if you're watching this while doing this at the same time. Um, yes, this might be a little bit cheap to do, and you could actually fool your friends by just scrambling a few of these, and then you'd be like, Hey friend, I'm about to be done with my first baby cube. So, so yeah, let's continue. Eh, eh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. But this is for instructional purpose only, and um, this is not good if you fool your friends. But it's still funny to see, to see them surprised and stranged out. So until next time, guys, subscribe. Um, I know I'm cheap and stuff, but um, I don't know what to do. So, yeah.